All right, welcome back to another Nick Reese's Tower, back at FTRL GT1 uh, for round or week number nine. This is at uh, Mount Panorama or Bathurst to those who are in or not in the know. Uh, this is what we're working with this week in terms of a the format. It is just one race, group three, in the afternoon uh, and or rather the evening and 75 minutes of uh, race time here today. Two times tyres, four times fuel, um, softs, mediums and hards must all be used for a minimum of five laps. And there are a total of 30 uh, 35 laps and then uh, we will head into the night time as well, into this race as well. So, yeah, uh, a lot to work through here with this one. So, yeah, it's a long one. Sorry that there's been such a delay between uh, races and the such. It's been, I've been in the process of like moving apartments and shit and I've still got internet in the place and... Uh, it, I've, I'm using my hotspot for a lot of stuff and uh, I've both recorded a whole bunch of stuff uh, so hopefully the rest of this season should all come out fairly quickly uh, because the new season's already actually started as I've recorded this so anyways this is my best lap time from Mount Panorama when you get a lap of this place in it really is a beautiful thing uh, running a different livery this week just for a bit of a special uh, you know it's this is the main endurance event of the season. It's 75 minutes. Mount Bathurst. I keep saying Mount Bathurst. Mount Panorama at night when the race gets into it. So I thought, you know what, let's do something a little bit different. So I, I, I had initially ran hot pink. And then I was like, oh, let me go for neon green. So anyways, we missed the apex there slightly. Of uh, I don't know some of these turns, uh, the names. I should learn them because it's a legendary track. Oh, nice and close to the wall. Get the car rotated in beautiful stuff how dare you interrupt me whatsapp how dare you so <laughs> uh on the limit here of the on the wall oh that's so close and then just up the hill down the crest chuck it in keep it in fourth close as you can to the wall a little bit of a lift over the bump into fifth then oh beautiful stuff then hitting under the banner then breaking get the car straight break car straight break rotate it in trying to take too much of that grass you can actually get a penalty for cutting too much of it for getting it too right this part of the track was a bit i struggled with the most i think uh this downhill section then heading on to this back straight then so that was yeah that's the corner i've consistently struggled with i haven't found the right way to do it but anyways it's been a pretty good lap so far and we're heading up then towards the back end of it now uh what else should i make yeah i'm going to try and record as many of these as i can today because i've just I've got the all pro the project sorted. I just need to catch up and just get it done uh, because it's just been, yeah, I, I've, I've no good excuse for not getting stuff done. It's just, I, I've, yeah, I've been busy with college and stuff, but yeah, like it's just, I just need to get it done. So it's just been, especially when now the new season started, and I hope to get all this done and then hopefully just bang it out over a few days. And it'll be, you know, like I'll try and squeeze it out, uh, so to speak. But anyways, coming across the line at 202 flat, uh, really good time there, I thought. So. Yeah, it ended up being good enough then for, you're going to see, it's going to, be, going to fall down to fifth place in the end as at least storms into second place with his lap. So uh, the Lexuses and Sean, they're just going to be in a different level, different league this time around with this. Sean is a, a Mount Bathurst, what, what, that was, is a Bathurst specialist. And the Lexus with the fuel is going to be, yeah, the, with the tires not being as high on the, on the wear, uh, cars that are going to feel are really going to come to the fore here. So, yeah, uh, our, so our tire advantage is taken away somewhat by that. But we're starting in really good places, second and fifth. So let's see what we could turn this into then. As yeah, we start off in the evening, and then we're going to descend into the night time pretty pretty soon. So, a lovely look at my car. Look at that. It is a thing of mm, beauty. I have to say, absolutely beautiful stuff. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for Dom to lag out, so to speak, and uh, that will be the case in a sec. There we go. And once we do, we can get on with a rolling start. So here we go then. 35 laps, 75 minutes around Bathurst. Let's get to it. And I've got amends to be making up here because last time we did this track in FTRL, at least when I was here, at least not for the special week of uh, GT21, uh, I... Is one of my first seasons in FTRL in in this one, and I think I was in the Mercedes that day too, and yeah, it was just a disastrous race, really, really bad. So 
I had spins, I had all sorts of foibles. It was one of my worst races. I was, I was humorous with the hour at the time. So, uh, where we go then? I decided to go for the mediums. I thought I'd take, you know, give them the track position. I thought I'd just use the mediums, get them over with. Uh, this was a mistake in hindsight. I really should have stuck to the hards. Tom was on hards, and I had a couple of runs, you know, here and there, but nothing I could really make a solid overtake with as this stint went on. So the strategy went like this, right? So everyone was going to do keep to the five lap minimum on the hards, ten on the mediums, and then two sets of softs. Then is what everyone ended up going with in the end, because the softs with the two times tire wear ended up lasting quite nicely. So yeah, that's what we're going to go with. But I decided to just to you know. I should have just gone with the hards and while well, the track was at its warmest here. But I thought, I'm getting such a good grip position. Let me just take it. I didn't, I didn't want to risk sinking into the pack on hards. That was my fear. Uh, Lee has an off there. We're going to overtake him then into P4 then. So uh, Pagani and Sean, I believe, are both on soft. So they want to get Irishman going as quickly as possible. And I don't blame them with their pace. Lap 5 then, you can see Tom is going to peel into the pits. There'll be others that peel into the pits on the hards as well. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's you just want to get those out of the way. So Rom and Tom and Lee then. We decided to split the strategies, me and Lee. But I thought, do you know what? Now that I've got... The, I thought I thought it'd be better to use the hards with less fuel and just push on these mediums now and just re-show the pace. And the pace was there, uh, just not enough then in the end. So lap number seven, I think Biggles is on... I don't know if Biggles is on softs or not. He might be, but... Anyways, uh, I did expect him for him to go through the move. He did. Uh, not the cleanest one in the world, but anyways, he gets through. And we're going to try and follow him as best we can. But I suspect he may have been on soft to start. Well, I can't I can't be too sure of that, at this, especially at this stage. But anyways, uh, we're going to stick to our plan. Lap 10, and then we're going to box and then on to the... Uh, onto the hards and uh, we're going to fast forward into lap 10 and you can see how quickly the light faded because lap 10 it is pitch black essentially so yeah and around Bathurst not the most uh, you know lighting is not at a premium around this place but anyways into the pits nice and slow to want to get a penalty for a uh, uh, blowing up the pit lane or crash so onto the hards and uh, we will go from there so five laps on these I thought with the I thought with the you know the less fuel load they might feel a little bit better compared to starting on them with a fuel full tank, but uh, you're going to see how quickly is this, uh, how much this backfires in my face. Uh, we come, we come out about what? It'll be about three and a half seconds or so ahead of Lee when it's all uh, just over. Yeah, just uh, just under four seconds or so. Uh, gap is kind of closing down, but yeah, three and a half seconds is pretty accurate then. Uh, so. Yeah, but by lap 12, Lee's already like caught anyway. three seconds. I hit the wall then, and uh, yeah, I want Lee to go. I want to hold Lee up on the strategy. But yeah, there was just very little grip on this on this hard to this period of the race. I lost a lot of time. Um, just really struggled with grip. I really should have got them out of the way early on. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a tough one. So we lose a lot of time here. In, even just in these few laps, in these five laps, we lost about 11 seconds or so. Uh, to Lee, look at that, like he's pitting, like he's seven seconds in front, so we're all coming onto the softs essentially, apart from Rom here, uh, and I'm now basically seven seconds of track time behind Lee after that stint, so just shows you the difference of using the tyres uh, the right time, I really didn't play that one right at all, so, but look, it was worth a gamble, I thought, I thought, you know, maybe I could make some use of it, but I was just stuck behind Tom for five laps, and that was tough as well, Um Anyways, uh, out we come then. We're still in the top eight, which is pretty good. Again, I've won a top seven out of this. That was my main aim heading into this night, was just get top seven. Uh, that would be a good result, given this track and how difficult it can be at times and how, you know, once you make one mistake, your race can really fall apart. Um, we get past uh, Luke and Chubbs then, who are pitting then from their mediums. We're on softs now, so... Lee's had a spin, though, out of turn one, and we're going to make an overtake into P5 then. So, yeah we'll just get back with it and I th our plan was to initially not change the tires just to save a little bit of time so I decided to do that at the stop uh, I thought this may have been worth a bit more time than it was so like 2.7 is the gap to Lee uh, when we coming into the pitch you'll see what the gap is when we exit it uh, yeah so we're going to come in not change the tires because the way of them is very marginal so I thought you know is, is it worth losing three seconds of time to uh 
to actually change the tires, but you're going to see how much time we actually gain from this. So, anyways, uh, we come out of the pits, and Lee did change tires, and the gap is, you'll see in just a sec. Uh, well, I guess we did gain about two and a half seconds or so. I thought we gained a little bit more. That's the thing I thought, but... Anyways, not to be. Uh, five and a half seconds that separates myself and Lee, so uh, he's got fresh tires, I do not, and uh, we ended up getting the chase for Rom, then he had a bit off, but Lee was definitely closing at the end there, so I think uh, maybe we were justified, but kind of Lee was kind of chilling after that as well, so Lee definitely had a bit more pace than I did today, but we're going to come across the line, it's going to be P5, which, you know, start P5, finish P5 at Bathurst, 75 minutes. I'm pretty pleased about that, to be fair. That's a good result all around. So, anyways, across the line. Good points for the team. An absolutely dominating win from Sean. 30 seconds. Whew, just incredible stuff. We finished nearly a minute behind Sean. That was incredible stuff. So, anyways, uh, Sean would have won that regardless, even if it wasn't in the Lexus. But, oh, my goodness, he is just rapid around this place. My goodness. So, there you go, then. That's uh, that's uh, the endurance event of the season, so to speak, at Bathurst at night. So, difficult conditions, but we got a really good result in the end. Uh, so here's the standings. We can see we're still in sixth. So, 207 points. Uh, you know, the gap, we're not, we're not a million miles away from third, where Lee is. So, lost to play for still this time of the season. And three rounds to go as well. So, yeah. Should be should be good. Uh, heading into then the last three rounds, uh, the constructors championship. Then you can see uh, we're gonna flash it up on screen in a sec. But uh, you can see the Sim Demon boys. You can see with Ross and Tom being top two. They'll be well out in front. Uh, we have a nice little lead then between um, ourselves and the friends by default, which is the Lexus boys. So yeah, so uh, we got a nice little buffer uh, which we needed because obviously they've had some pretty good results and they're gonna have some good results coming up here as well. So. Uh, with the Lexus in hand. So, yeah, that's going to do it for round number, uh, week number nine of GT1. Uh, that was Bathurst. Next up is Tokyo. So that should be fun. Three races around Tokyo South. So uh, I think south clockwise. So, yeah, that should be fun. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time.